It dissolves your body in the subconscious sphere and makes you realize that you are not a man nor a woman, but a piece of consciousness, a reflection of his consciousness sleeping in space, in joy. The drama of sleep gave me the greatest faith in God. When anybody told me I am made in the image of God, I laughed. Well, I couldn't see in this frail body the image of God, but Master said, in this subconscious mirror of sleep, you find that you are in God. That every night you become the infinite. You are not man or woman. You are not happy. But when you wake up, you always know that you are never unconscious in sleep. You exactly know how you sleep. Only you are not conscious of your body. But you are conscious of your real self. And the nest of your troubles starts with the body. So all the gifts and kindness that you have given to me, I want to give this gift to you. Remember these two natures in you. The nature as a man, as a human being during the day, and the nature as God at night. As I often say, we are all gods at night, but we become devils during the day. And if we can be gods during the day, we are gods all the time. And this purpose of life must not be drowned in the various engagements with matter. We must remember, if God says, I have no time for you and stops sticking in your heart, all your engagements have to be cancelled immediately. For one of the great sayings in India is, He is the cleverest who finds God. He is the cleverest who gives time to find God. He is the cleverest who finds that supreme happiness within. And he who can stand unshaken amidst the crash of breaking worlds. He whose peace, the riches of peace, cannot be taken away by all the robbers of circumstances and trials. In this spiritual family, you all remind me by your actions of one whom millions forget. And that's why they suffer. I remember one day I was in the movies. Movies had one fascination because I see the whole world as movies. I was in the booth and I saw the operator was reading a novel. And I saw this automatic machine was going on and the beam was causing on the screen a terrible horror picture. And I said, Lord, how is it? I have the whole show of the universe in front of me. You are this operator who is thinking of new plays, and your nature is throwing this beam in the sky. And I see the hero and the villain are nothing but pictures. Nobody is killed. Many were being killed and shot in this picture, but I saw from the booth it was the light that had created the villain and the light had created the hero. And a voice said, remember, the villain is created so that you don't become the villain, but that you love the hero. If you become the villain, your throat has to be cut. And now you see that there is no villain, no hero. They are both pictures of my beam. After getting away from the villain and evil, or tasting poisoned honey, taste the honey of goodness and then come into the beam, and you will realize that all this world which you see of terrible wars and troubles is nothing but a picture show, cosmic motion picture show in the sky. You will be surprised. You never analyze that as soon as you sleep and dream, you can create a world like this. 
with people suffering from cancer and disease and wars and some smiling babies born, old men dying, then when you wake up, you see that all those things were made of your dream consciousness. So remember, this is the same, nothing different. And until you find that out, this world is a terrible show. I said to God, as he was talking to me, but Lord, look at the audience. They are howling and screeching downstairs at this horror show. I see that it's nothing but pictures and light, because I see the invisible beam. There are no murders in the beam, no heroes, not villains in the beam. But Lord, what about the audience? They don't know it. Then the voice said, Tell them all to look at my beam within, and they will realize that this show was given to entertain them not to get mixed up with it. That's why, remember, every night he makes you a God. Every night he withdraws you from this movie, cosmic movies, and makes you realize you are the Son of God. You are made in his image. You cannot be violated or hurt by stones, nor bombs, nor machine guns, nor atomic bombs. Remember, the best shelter is in the silence of your soul. And if you can develop that silence, nothing in the world, nothing in the world can touch you. And you can say, Jang labdha chaparang labham mannate nadikantaka, having which no other gain becomes greater. Then you can stand unshaken amidst the crash of breaking world. Then you are not in any way touched by cold and heat, pleasure and pain. But as soon as you are touched by these, you are with the movies. 